Welcome to the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I am going to demonstrate an experiment on AC voltage controllers using triad dia combination. Ultimate goal is to obtain uh, the voltage controller using triad and dia combination. We are going to control the brightness of the lamp using this particular combination. We require the following components like a dia triad module, then uh, we require a transformer, potentiometer, uh, capacitor C1 and T2, C2, dia, triad, and the lighting load and the lamp load having the rating of 60 watts. And uh, as you can observe, this is our circuit diagram. You have to rig up uh, the circuit diagram as per the given circuit. So we have like a, a lamp, it is considered as a load. Then we are providing the supply voltage of 230 volt. And uh, this part is considered as the power circuit, okay? So the main power circuit is available there. So we have the power circuit. And uh, this part is generally called as control part. You can see like a control, control there's a controlling part is also available. Now we are going to like, a, we have the terminals of triac that is MT1 and MT2. Uh, you can observe here. Uh, then there is a diac, diode for alternating current diac is available here. So diac that is mainly providing for the like a firing circuit that will be supporting for the firing circuit for the triac. And we have the supplementary components like RC components. Okay, so then uh, there is a, a port is available here. Okay, this is a basic circuit diagram. Now, what we are going to do is we will be rigging up uh, the given uh, circuit and uh, based upon the circuit diagram. And we have the like uh, uh, the output voltage like this. We are going to control the output voltage, right? So, so that we are going to control the lamp, the brightness of the lamp. That's what exactly happening here. The procedure connections are as, and then as per the circuit diagram, turn on the module, then you are going to vary the firing angle. Okay, whenever you are going to vary the firing angle, of course, the brightness is getting controlled. That's what exactly happened here. Thereafter, you are going to plot the output voltage versus firing angle. So you are going to note on different firing angle, then you are measuring the output voltage. Also, you are going to compute the theoretical output voltage using the formula. We have the formula V not RM is equal to Vm into 1 by 2 pi pi minus alpha plus. Uh, sine 2 alpha by 2 whole to the power 2, 1 by 2. So we already derived the formula. So you, you are going to, uh, like, uh, theoretically, you are going to calculate. Then you are going to verify experimentally the VRMS output to voltage. Then uh, you will be computing. You will be saying that uh, the theoretical value is approaching with the, the practical value, right? So that conclusion, you are that inference you are going to make out. Firing angle you can compute by number of divisions divided by total number of divisions into 360 degree if you are considering complete cycle. But if you are considering only the half cycle, you are supposed to consider the angle 180 degree. That's all. Okay. The output to, output to voltage versus firing angle, the graph is given in this fashion. There is a flat curve you can observe here. So as the uh, as the firing angle is less, the output to voltage is also less. As the, fire, as, as the firing angle is uh, less, output to voltage is high. As the firing angle is increases, output to voltage is coming down. So these are the basic information which we can obtain from the graph. So this is a whole experimental setup. Now let's get started according to this particular circuit diagram. So let me uh, begin with the uh, like a demonstration. So you can pay the attention and uh, have a look on the circuit diagram. It is better to draw the circuit diagram. Now you can observe, uh, we have the, uh, like, uh, uh, the CRO, then we are having the kit and the patch cards are available. So you have the uh, load, la lamp load, and we have the multimeter and we have the patch card. So we will be doing the connections according to the circuit diagram. Let's get started doing the wiring. Okay, so we are going to uh, do the wiring. Okay, so there is a fuse uh, which will be supporting for protecting the device against overcurrent. We have the main supply, then we have the terminals, capacitor C1, C2, R2, R1. Okay, and uh, uh, these are the different terminals which you can observe here. Correct. And we have the diac combination. Diac is supplied to triac. Okay, for the gating, for the triggering purpose, we'll be connecting diac combination, right? Uh, now, uh, the we have the terminals of uh, ACR, sorry, triac, MT1 and MT2. And we have to, we can change the, like this particular knob to vary the firing angle. Okay, these are the basic setup which you can observe from the diagram. This is basically a light dimmer circuit. Okay, now let's do the connections as per the circuit diagram. Before that, make sure that uh, your probes are uh, working properly. Yes, my probe is working properly. I have verified once. You can, uh, you have to verify. Otherwise, uh, you may not get the output because make sure that your probe is working properly. Now you'll be like uh, doing the connections. 
let me do the connections yeah so first of all you have to provide the supply card let us complete the circuit diagram uh, now what you are going to do is you will be connecting uh, the gate the gate circuit here you can observe yeah circuit is completed right so it is very clear that uh, we completed the circuit diagram now you have to provide diac to like a uh, diac terminal will be connected to the gate terminal to complete the circuit otherwise the firing will not be done so you cannot vary the firing angle right it's a control device okay so these are the basic things you, you need to do uh, in this uh, particular circuit yeah so we have done the connections fine now let us uh, turn on the supply now you are supposed to connect to the load okay load also you are supposed to connect because the diatria combination that must be connected to the load through the auxiliary components. Now, what you can do is you can turn on the supply. Okay, you can turn on the supply consider by considering the tabular polar. Uh, you are supposed to measure the firing angle, then corresponding practical output and the theoretical output, right? Theoretical output will be done based on the formula, which is already given there, right? Yeah. So, this is the formula which you are supposed to keep in your mind. Okay. Yeah. So, formula, everything is available. Yeah, now for alpha is equal to number of divisions divided by total number of divisions. Now I am going to turn on the supply. Just observe. CRO that is mainly used for like observing the output voltage. And now we are going to vary the firing angle. I am going to vary the firing angle. With respect to changes in firing angle, the brightness of the lamp is getting varied. Parallelly, you can observe the waveforms also. See, the you can observe when the device is getting turned on. The device that is going to turn on at a firing angle of alpha, right? So total number of divisions I measured is 1.6. I consider only the half cycle. You can measure horizontal distance from the CRO. So please uh, measure it from here to here. So observe here. Okay. Now you can check it up. Like uh, there is a variation with respect to the firing angle. See, observe the waveform properly. Now you have to measure the total number of divisions and make a note of that. Only half cycle I will be considering. If you want to consider the full cycle, you have to multiply with the 360 degree. But I consider only the half, like a half cycle. Correct. Yeah, I have measured. So it's around 1.6. Yeah, now number of divisions you have to calculate that is 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Now firing angle to be calculated, 0 0.4 upon 1.6 into 180 degree. So now you will be measuring the like a practical voltage, voltage across the load. Okay, voltage across the lamp that, that will be measured. That is a practical output. Firing angle will be measured. Thereafter, you will be measuring the voltage across the load, right? Yeah, voltage across the load will be measured. Set multimeter into AC mode, right? AC, AC voltmeter mode. Now I am going to change the firing angle. Whenever I am going to change the firing angle, the shape, output to voltage shape is also getting varied. That is very clear. Now parallel you have to measure the voltage. Then you have to check the brightness of the lamp also. Brightness is coming down. Correct. Yeah. Again, you will be uh, changing the firing angle. Now the steps has to be repeated. Measure the total, like uh, the number of divisions and the total number of divisions that has to be multiplied with the 180 degree. Also, parallelly, you have to measure the voltage across the load. Make sure that the voltage is in AC mode, right? Because it's an AC voltage controller, correct? Now, uh, repeat the steps. I'm varying the firing angle. Okay. Now, each case, I'll be measuring uh, the alpha, then output voltage. Yes, the brightness of the lamp is also coming down. That is also one of the very pretty clear feature here. Okay. So this is basically uh, like uh, AC voltage controller, light dimmer. We, we basically call it as light dimmer. Okay, see, brightness is getting varied. As, as soon as I'm changing the firing angle, uh, the brightness of the lamp is getting varied. A clear picture uh, which will which, which depicts the operation of diatria combination. So it is one of the best light dimmer circuit, right? Okay, so the procedure has to be repeated. Once it is done, you have to keep the uh, uh, like that that uh, specific knob in the initial position. Then you have to turn off turn off the CRO, turn off the kit. Later you have to turn off the main supply. So these are the basic information which I can do it. Okay, so thus we concluded the operation of uh, the diatria combination, which will be act as a voltage controller. 
the readings are tabulated in this fashion. Okay, so now uh, practical value as well as theoretical value both are obtained. Now it is a time to plot the graph. As soon as I am plotting the graph, I am, the shape will be in this fashion. Okay, note on the shape of the graph. Correct. Then you will be making an inference between the relation of firing angle versus output voltage. Right. So this is regarding the operation. In this session, I could demonstrate you uh, the light dimmer circuit. How you are going to change uh, the brightness of the lamp by using diacrya combination. And uh, I, I could explain uh, the significance of firing angle. Let me know if you have any clarification regarding this experiment. I can re-demonstrate once again. Also, I can give the comments as per your uh, questions or suggestions. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day. Happy learning.